must things to do when you're in Riga is to visit the uh, museum called Enjoy the Game. This is a museum dedicated to video games and arcade machines. Video games across the ages, starting all the way back from what we have here, the Atari. The Any machine can play games with you. But as a real computer, I can also help with education. Give people the power to be successful. They designed the Atari ST. A real thing, not a plaything. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Because the Commodore is keeping up with you. In a world of fun and fantasy. ZX Spectrum. Right, pay attention, Bond. This is the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus 2. It's a fully operational computer with 128K memory, but it comes with three James Bond games and a light gun that fires armor-piercing shells. Now that's your assignment. No, no, don't sit in that chair. Sorry, Bond. Haven't perfected that yet. The Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus 2. It was the Amstrads. It must be noted, though, they're, miss they're missing a good collection of Amigas. some of this stuff. It's simply amazing. This is flashing me back to my childhood. Flashing me back to the fact that when I used to play video games, I had to load them on cassettes. I had to put discs in the disc drive. I had to slam, slam the fingers on the, uh, the Spectrums and the Amstrads and the Ataris. And the amount of time spent on the Atari 520. Thank you, Nick. And um, yeah, we're missing the Amigas there. But there's some amazing stuff there. Of course, Alien Storm doesn't have horrible little graphics, just horrible big ones. Check out this. The Atari 2600. The fun is back! Oh yes, Siree! It's the 2600 from Atari. It's the video system with classics galore, from space invaders to cars that roar. A real hip joystick controls the screen. Solaris is hot and Midnight Magic's mean. And one more thing, it's got a special low price, under 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Now isn't that nice? The fun <laughs> is back! Oh yes, Siree! It's the 2600 from Atari. This is this is geek cabin. Even they've even got the Mattel machine. This wasn't very good, but this was. And this certainly was. These were. I remember friends having these. Who remembers this calculator? The little professor. It wasn't a great calculator, but everyone wanted, everyone wanted that calculator. It's some amazing stuff. I convinced my sister to buy this. That was her first ever console. Basically so I could play on it. Sega challenges you with the ultimate video games. Games that'll blow you away. Like Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Knockout games like Rocky. Gangster Town. A shift into more excitement with the arcade hit Outrun. Only on the Sega system. And he asked to come in 1985. Now comes the ultimate challenge from Nintendo. The challenge of stopping World War III and becoming Top Gun. Nintendo, the world's number one game system. The original Famicom. This was, uh, this was released, I think, in short release in Sweden. But it was basically it was restricted to Japan. A little bit of rush from Sweden. And uh, the Atari 7800. Amazing. And then here we come with Super Nintendo. Everyone loved this. Super Famicom, the Japanese model. When you decide to step up to this kind of power, this kind of challenge, this kind of flying, crashing, feeling, when you decide to get serious, there's only one place to come. The games of Super Nintendo. No one else creates this kind of experience. Because no one else creates these kinds of games. Now you're playing with power, super power. Well, the US what the NTSC with power is the UK system. Yeah, like total geekness of Nintendo Scope. The Final Fantasy series, Mega Drive. New Street Fighter 
Streets of Rage. You control 40 incredible moves. Gotta get Genesis like nothing ever before. Genesis is so much more. Sega Genesis. Inferior to this NES, but I know the Sega purists would disagree with me. Obviously, Ryu and Ken. Stuff. N64. The days when all your friends would come round and uh, you play GoldenEye. Introducing GoldenEye 007. Do you know how to use one of these? Shot by shot by shot. Load a rumble pack and see how it feels when 007 meets Nintendo 64. We'll play GoldenEye. There's GoldenEye. Mario Kart. Amazing. Sega Assassin. Introducing Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn. Are they missing the Neo Geo? Wasted money on this thing. Atari Jago, terrible console, but I had one. Spin the universe! Let's review the numbers. Sega Genesis is 16 bits. 3DO is 32 bits. The Atari Jaguar is 64 bits. Which is more advanced? Clifford! Hmm? With 64 bits, 3D graphics, real world animation, and lightning speed that you can only get with Jaguar. Which is more advanced? Clifford! Can you repeat the question? Jaguar! 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 And obviously the, uh, the original PlayStation. Sega Dreamcast also wasted money on this. We all play games. Why don't we play together? Dreamcast. Up to six billion players. It's clearly uh, a place you can, you can spend a bit of time. This place costs three euros to get in. I like it a lot. You can play all of the uh, video games, play any of these games, and uh, basically enjoy yourself. Three euros, money well spent. A little bit of history here. have the prisoners. You're going in and hitting hard. Operation Wolf. You played it in the arcade. Now play it on your Nintendo Entertainment System. Fight your way past armored cars, gunboats, and a ruthless enemy. Grab extra ammo and power drinks because you're going to need all the firepower you can get. Operation Wolf. Only from Tyco. The only game in town. <laughs>
love the power of love. You're so bad. Yeah, well, uh, just keep your power gloves off her, pal, huh? Reminds me, where's the, uh, where's the Atari Lynx in the, uh... Hey, Mr. Block, can I go to the bathroom? Two minutes. Introducing Lynx from Atari, the color video game you can get away with. Sega Game Gear. Oh, this is Sega Game Gear. <sighs> Whoa. Color. Hey, there's an easier way to get color. Get a Game Gear, the full color portable with over 150 games, like the new Echo, Mortal 2, and Sonic Triple Trouble. Sega! Not a little bad. Not bad. You played every Mario game. You conquered every Mario game. You think you've mastered all there is to know about Mario. Well, you better think again. New Super Mario World, made possible by the power of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. You've never faced the challenge of so many enemies, so many obstacles, so many levels. You've never needed help from a dinosaur before. Super Mario World, you get it only with a Super NES. It's part of the growing lineup of games for the next generation from Nintendo. You've gotta play it. You've gotta have it. You've got a reputation. Now you're playing with power. Super power. There's certainly machines that he needs to add to his collection, but it's still an impressive array of machines. So one of the top things to do was at the video games museum in Riga. It was a lot of fun, a uh, good, uh, good way to spend a good hour. If you bring a friend, it's going to be more fun. <laughs> 